Hey guys, in this video I'm going to give you another weekly update on what's going on in Southeast Asia and big news, lots of countries opening up and what is going on with the Philippines? Are they going to be opening up soon as well? Stick around. All right guys, welcome back to my weekly update on what countries are open, what countries are opening in Southeast Asia and what is going on with the Philippines. So I'm gonna do this on a weekly basis because things are really kind of happening here now in Southeast Asia and also the Philippines. It's, things are moving forward. It doesn't look like it from where you're at, but where I'm at, it really does seem like things are moving forward and I'm gonna share that. Uh, that'll be more towards the end, but let's go ahead and jump into it. Uh, first off, we have Singapore now is open. Now, Singapore is a more expensive type of a country but you know, for, I, what they always say in sales, don't uh, shop with your wallet. Uh, so for a lot of people, this might be a place that you want to go. And uh, 11 countries, uh, they have a vaccinated travel lane. They call it VTL to 11 countries. That's going to be uh, Brunei, Germany, Canada, Denmark, France, Italy, Netherlands, Spain, United Kingdom, United States, and South Korea. And those are open. Uh, for vaccinated travel lane and uh, you can go to their website which is um, I can't remember exactly but but you can go to their the website you can just google it and you will find it it's it's pretty easy to find and um, a lot going on there okay next up we have Malaysia Malaysia is to open Langkawi to foreign tourists from November 15th so a little more information uh, th that's going to be an island. A lot of these countries are following what Thailand did. And Thailand really, you know, they had around 600,000 or so tourists that showed up for their sandbox uh, going to Phuket. And um, a lot of countries stood up and took notice to this. And because numbers came back for Thailand in only 0.3%, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the description, but I believe that's correct. Only 0.3% of those 600,000 tourists that came into Thailand at, in uh, Phuket Sandbox tested positive. So that made a lot of other countries kind of say, hey, it seems to be working for Thailand. Let's go ahead and model something similar. So that's what we have going on now. So um, um, you have to be fully vaccinated. Again, if you're not vaccinated, probably not going to be coming out to Southeast Asia, at least in 2022 the rest of 2021 or 2022. Uh, but you'll have to do a COVID-19 test 72 hours before departure. Second day of arrival um, in Langkawi, you must have minimum insurance as well. So uh, here, there's a couple of themes going on here. You're gonna have to do, you're gonna have to be vaccinated. You're gonna have to do a swab test be about 72 hours before you arrive. This is most of the Southeast Asian countries that are opening. And you're gonna need travel insurance. And the travel insurance I recommend and that I use personally is linked down in the description. Um, it's a pilot, it's gonna run for three months. It's gonna be from November 15th. And, um, and then they will do um, expand that uh, from there. But that is Malaysia. Now, Cambodia reopens e-visa for tourists and investors. And uh, they decided to reopen e-visas for all those coming to Cambodia just uh, four days after the, it announced the quarantine period for different types of vaccinated and unvaccinated travelers. So Cambodia is one that actually is letting unvaccinated travelers come in. However, you would have to do uh, quarantine. And uh, I believe if you're vaccinated, you can do uh, seven days. Now to date, there are 33 countries of which nine countries are Asi Asian members and they don't require visas for 30 days while the other 24 the exemption is given only for officials and those with diplomatic passports okay um and uh you would have to do not only would you have to do a seven day quarantine and that's with vaccinated tourists you would have to have a thousand dollar deposit to pay for expenses incurred during their stay in the designated hotel making Cambodia probably the least favorable of the places you would like to go in Southeast Asia right now. Now, Indonesia is open. Now, you can come into Indonesia on a business visa or as a tourist. Now, Indonesia, I believe you only have to quarantine for, I believe, five days, and it's self-quarantine. 
And um, if you want to come in, you can contact uh, like Bali Visa and you can do um, something like that. But um, Indonesia is uh, open and that's another place that you can go into. Now, Vietnam is also talking about opening up an island. Again, everybody's kind of modeling after Thailand here, but Vietnam is talking about opening up one of their islands, and I don't remember the name of it, but it uh, starts with a P. And um, so they're gonna kind of test pilot that, and if that's successful, then they would open up other parts of Vietnam and eventually the whole country. Now, that brings me to the last country that I wanted to mention, and that is going to be um, the Philippines. So the Philippines, uh, the Department of Tourism, and this article will be linked down in the description, okay? Department of Tourism and Tourism stakeholders are discussing the possibility of rebooting the tourism industry by opening select destinations in the country to international travelers. Um, Business tourism stakeholders and the Department of Transportation discussed further ways to ease the quarantine restrictions to make it easier for vaccinated Bali Kabayans to come home and visit their families, especially this holiday season. Now, believe it or not, where I'm living right now, Lapu Lapu, is being discussed as the pilot gateway. The arriving tourists would only stay within Mactan, which happens to be where I'm at, Mactan Newtown. And if this does push through and open up, guess what? Geo in the Philippines probably is not going to stay in Mactan Newtown because it's going to start to get a little touristy again. And I do like Mactan Newtown a lot, but one of the things I like about it right now is the condos are only 30% occupied. The beaches are empty. The tourist destinations, um, there's not a lot of people running around. And that's one of the things I find attractive about it right now. It's a great area and a lot of people will have no problem with the condos filled up a little bit more. But uh, me personally, I probably will move on. If you were hoping to meet me, um, we can meet somewhere else probably. <laughs> but we'll see what happens. But most hotels are located here and you got the airport, international airport that comes in. So. Uh, Guests can easily travel from the Mactan Cebu International Airport to their hotels within the city. They either stay in their hotels or just move around in the city. The point is they are not confined to their homes or their home cities, he added. Uh, only vaccinated tourists will be allowed entry, and you can't cross over the bridge to go into Cebu City or travel to other cities, he said. Uh, Lapu Lapu stepped up its vaccination drive, even going house to house in some cases. As of September, 83% of the targeted tourism workers in Lapu Lapu have been vaccinated per the Department of Transportation. Um, it has, they, they want it to be at least 70% of the entire city or targeted residents, not just tourism workers, uh, before they will open to foreign tourists. So guys, if you want them to open, you want that number to hit 70%. And right now, I don't know if it's um, quite there. But guess what? Lapu Lapu has reached 56.3% of its targeted vaccination population as of October 13th. That's over a week ago already. So we're, we're even higher. And again, we go back to Thailand. They're following the Phuket roadmap. The scheme is patterned after the Phuket sandbox scheme. Uh, where vaccinated international travelers are being allowed to travel to other places in Thailand. Now, this is fantastic news. This is great news because it, they're really looking at this. And I'm telling you, Thailand are the trendsetters. They really kind of opened the, and paved the way for the rest of Southeast Asia. And we've got now Singapore um, opening. We've got Malaysia opening up their island. Singapore is an island. You've got um, Vietnam going to do the same thing. Uh, Cambodia is, right now is not real favorable. Uh, Bali and in Indonesia. So things are really starting to open here. Um, this is something to be excited about. I, I really do feel very strongly that around the beginning of the year, if you're vaccinated, that uh, you're going to be out in the Philippines pretty soon. So don't give up hope, guys. Uh, Questions, comments, go ahead and comment down below. This article will be down in the description, and the rest you can just Google. See you guys next time. I'm going on vacation. I'm going to be in Bohol for the next week or 10 days. 
Um, if you have an idea of something you want me to film while I'm there, go ahead and drop a comment down below as well. See you guys next time. Bye.